Hey guys, Dan here with Device Enforcer, and today I got a request to show how to create the lava effect for my Corsair Strafe RGB lighting effect demonstration video by a YouTube account named 135790. So this will be addressing that comment. So I've got Q open here. It's linked to my Corsair Strafe RGB. And then what you want to do to create this is go over here, click on the plus to create the profile, and then you can close that down. Yeah, just save that. Close that down, go to the lighting effects tab. And first we're going to want to press plus here, go to this drop down menu and change it to a static color. The color we're going to be using first is red, create a red background. Just click and drag, by the way, to select more than one thing at a time, like that. So make the entire thing have a red background, and then we'll layer effects over top of it to create the rest of the appearance. Create a new layer by clicking the plus in the lighting effects tab. Here we're actually going to change it to a rain profile. And you'll want to select alternating, and change this to orange. Now the orange that Q has in the basic colors, it actually doesn't look very orange on the keyboard itself. It looks a little bit more yellow. So what I like to do is go to the green tab and change it to 50. You won't be able to tell a difference in the software. You actually won't be able to like even really tell too much that there's an effect changing. But at the end of this tutorial, I'll try and edit over uh, some sort of image of what the keyboard looks like. I think I'll put that at the end. So, and then you'll see that the orange actually is very visible on the keyboard. So click save to save that layer, then click plus to create another layer, and this layer we're actually going to want another static color. This layer is probably going to be the most difficult to create. So actually set your color to black for this one. We just want to block out some of the color so it looks like some of the lava has had time to cool down and harden over, create like a rock effect. So what you're going to want to do for this is hold down your control key on the keyboard because it's going to need you to select multiple things. And then uh, basically what you want to do is just Click random things, leave little gaps of light in between, basically. You don't want uh, too many of the keyboard lights on, because basically what this effect is supposed to look like is that it's mostly hardened lava. So there wouldn't be light showing through in most places. So just click around, turn off lights. Live preview is actually really helpful on your keyboard if you look at it. You should be able to tell what it will look like when you're finished. Um, just click around until you're happy with how it looks, basically. Just turning off lights to make it look like it's actual lava, basically. Alright, so for the sake of this tutorial and not having it go on for too overly long, I'm going to say that that's fine there. Click the save button, and then you could just leave it here like this, it'll look like lava pretty much all the time. But what I like to do is create an effect, and go to type lighting, ripple, have it alternate between red and the orange that we used earlier. Because what this will do is make it look like when you touch the keyboard, you're disturbing the already cooled rock, and it starts to reliquify. It's just a neat effect to have over the top. So that should be about it for the tutorial on how to create this. Let me know if it works well for you, and I'll see you all in the next video after this footage of what the keyboard will look like when you're finished. Peace out.